Hello folks, I am so grateful for your feedback on the first part of the review, it helped me a lot in creating this second part. Overall, Samsung's new One UI 5.0 is great, it feels like the company took the time to optimize performance and improve the user experience with minor but meaningful changes and additions. You can find the eligible Galaxy device list and One UI 5 release schedule at the link in the description. The first part of the review is in the description too, so be sure to check it out. Ok, it is a feature that I didn't notice at first, but which I have been waiting for several years. Finally, we can set custom call backgrounds for specific contacts. Samsung has allowed changing the call backgrounds in previous One UI versions, but you were limited to the built-in option. In One UI 5, you can select an image or video of your choice on a per-contact basis, so it can make it easier to tell who's calling from a distance or at a glance. Beyond this being useful, it can also be a source of mild entertainment. So for those who have embarrassing videos of their friends, now's the time to break it out. Or maybe you want a custom call background of your partner blowing your keys, you can create one. To set up a contact call background, open the contacts app or the phone app and go to the contacts tab. Select the desired contact, tap the info icon and then the edit button. Then tap view more to expand the list of details you can edit. Scroll all the way down and tap call background. Then tap the background button at the bottom of the screen. Tap the plus button in the upper upper right corner and select which photo or video you want to use. This is really great. A big change around notifications in Android 13 is opt-in notifications, and One UI integrates the feature. When you open an app for the first time, you will see a dialog box explicitly asking for your permissions to send notifications. This only works if you are using a fresh build of One UI 5, or for any new apps installed on your phone. Another neat addition is the ability to directly control the notification behavior from within an app. When you long press on an app's notification and tap on the settings button that appears below it, you will head straight to the app settings section where you have access to granular controls. You can customize its notification behavior to show only alerts for different categories. The expansive list of control toggles is a bit overwhelming, but it's a one-time effort. Once you've tailored the notification behavior to your liking, the effort will prove to be worth it. It's just a great system for filtering unnecessary chatter that only alerts you when something important has happened. One UI 5 also lets you set exceptions when you want to see urgent alerts from a few critical apps but have enabled the do not disturb mode. With One UI 5, Samsung implemented a maintenance mode feature that allows you to protect your data when handing your phone to a third person. Most often, this will be if you are giving your device to a technician for a phone repair. Putting your device in maintenance mode beforehand will allow the technician to do whatever they need to carry out repairs without letting them access your data. Just go to the battery and device care option, scroll down and tap maintenance mode, tap the turn on. On the next page, choose whether to restart without creating creating a lock or not. Tap restart. When your device reboots, it will be in maintenance mode. Maintenance mode creates a new Android profile with all the stock apps and settings. Technicians can access any apps or settings they need to complete a repair, but they won't be able to access any of your personal data, like your photos, videos or messages. A technician won't be able to disable maintenance mode without knowing your PIN or pattern. When you turn off maintenance mode, the new profile gets deleted, along with any apps that were installed for the repair. Your phone reverts to your original profile where all your settings, apps and data will be just as you left them. Despite that, I strongly recommend that you back up all of your data before giving your phone to the technician. The camera app itself has received a few welcome changes in One UI 5.0. The camera interface itself hasn't changed, but there are a few subtle alternations. The zoom bar is smaller than before and easier to use one-handed. If you are a casual photographer or an amateur just starting out, the Pro Mode now contains helpful tips for you. Simply go on over to the Pro Mode and click on the eye icon. One UI 5.0 now shows helpful tips for basic photography elements like ISO, shutter speed, white 
Create, Balance, Focus and More. To help you further, the Pro Mode here now includes a histogram to enable you to see real-time light distribution. For phones that have a telephoto lens, you can now use the module with food mode. You will notice a new watermark option in the camera app settings. It automatically adds a watermark to the photos you shoot. You can include the device name or custom text or date and time. It also lets you customize the watermarks font and alignment. In One UI 5, Samsung is putting the gallery app's optical character recognition capabilities at the forefront. All you need to do is a long press in the text area of an image, and the optical character recognition system automatically jumps into action. Once a section of the text is selected, you just have to move the grab handles to select the portion you need. The feature also has a contextual side to it. For example, if an image has a phone number in it, the contextual menu that pops up upon selecting the phone number shows the option for making a voice call or sending a text message. Also, you will get the option to translate the selected word. It is very useful. If you want to use it while actively using your camera, simply point your viewfinder at the text and press the T-scan button that comes up. The system will extract text from the image and you can tap your choice to select it. And it even identifies text and images captured using the zoom camera. Ok, this is a fun one. With One UI 5, Samsung has added an advanced sticker creation tool right in the gallery app that turns silly selfies and cute photos into stickers. And the whole process takes less than 30 seconds. All you need to do is to open an image in the gallery app, tap on the pencil shape markup icon, select the smiley face option at the bottom, and then tap on the option that says stickers. Now you will see a flower shaped icon at the bottom that lets you add a picture from the gallery. Once there, you can choose between different selections and snapping options. You can slap the resulting sticker atop any image you want to jazz up. Another cool and meaningful addition is the automatic shape correction. When you draw a shape in an image, say for highlighting a certain object by drawing around it, and hold on to the outline, it will automatically turn into a regular shape. I've tried my fair share of chipperish rectangles and wavy circles, but the markup system corrects them really well and makes the highlights look a lot less messy. We talked about stacked widgets in the first part of the review, but forgot about the new Smart Suggestions widgets that arrived with the One Year 5 update. To put it simply, it's a 4x2 grid of apps curated by an AI engine that studies your usage pattern and suggests a list of apps that you are most likely to use at any given time of the day. It's a neat addition, especially if you are chasing that minimalist look for the home screen, but don't want to clutter things up by putting a ton of apps and shortcuts on the same page. In Using the feature for a week, I found that the list of apps populated in the Smart Suggestions widget was almost always on point. One UI 5.0 has made some sensible changes to the settings app layout, and I feel one of the most underrated additions is the new connected devices menu. Simply put, it neatly organizes everything that has to do with your Galaxy phone and tablet connecting to other devices, and it just makes sense. This new menu is easy to read and just as easy to access. It contains everything you need to control your connected devices, from Galaxy wearables, smart things, smart view and quick share, to Samsung DeX, Link to Windows, Android Auto, and more. Not only does the connected devices menu makes these features easier to reach, but it pushes them more into the spotlight, increasing the chance of Galaxy device users putting these great features to good use more often. Again, this new addition to the settings app hasn't redefined One UI completely, but I believe it is a perfect example of how the user experience can and should be streamlined in some areas. While connecting to wireless networks is nice and all, there are times you need in-depth information about your network situation. This is where One UI 5's new intelligent Wi-Fi feature comes into the picture. Go to the Wi-Fi panel and tap these three dots in the upper right corner, and tap Intelligent Wi-Fi. It will open up a plethora of different options for your connection. Some of these are consolidated options found in other Wi-Fi options, but most of them are new. You can now see settings like prioritize important data, 
switch to better Wi-Fi networks and so on. However, that's not all. Tapping repeatedly on the intelligent Wi-Fi version opens up the network's developer settings, which give you more possibilities. You can now access in-depth connection information, including your link speed, channel use in percent, and various network-specific options. Moreover, there's a handy new nearby Wi-Fi information tab, which showcases all Wi-Fi networks along with their bands and coverage performance. You can also check a network's channel utilization in real time to get a better idea of your Wi-Fi use. And for those inclined, you can even see the route and time-specific history. Overall, intelligent Wi-Fi is a big improvement in One UI 5 and definitely stands out as one of the features worth trying. As for Dex mode, I often use it on my tablet and was really looking forward to the update here. Perhaps the main thing that I noticed at first glance is that performance has been well optimized. Besides that, Samsung Dex in One UI 5 has gained some taskbar related improvements. A search button in the taskbar opens Finder in a pop-up, similar to what you'd see on a Windows-powered PC. Clicking on the time and date area in the taskbar now reveals a smaller calendar in a pop-up window rather than launching the calendar app. It seems to be a much more convenient way of showing the calendar to DEX users. The notification icon has a different shape, but more importantly, the clear button in the notification window has been relocated from the bottom to the top, which doesn't make a lot of practical sense. One UI 5.0 also brings a new taskbar settings menu for Samsung DEX. It can be accessed by either long pressing or right clicking on the taskbar. From here, DEX users can enable or disable the auto hide taskbar feature or hide taskbar shortcut including navigation buttons, language, keyboard and sounds, as well as the screen capture button and of course the new taskbar embedded finder. This settings menu is new in One UI 5. Quickly press the side key 5 times to call emergency services even if your phone is in your pocket. Also, you can create an emergency contact list that includes the people you want to contact in case of an emergency. Okay guys, One UI 5 is all about refining existing features instead of groundbreaking new additions. Without a doubt, this is the most advanced Android-based software we can find on the market today, and it sets the tone for Samsung going into 2023. This is only the first major release of Android 13-based One UI 5. Samsung will continue improving its skin in the coming months with additional features and tweaks. And the best part is that these features will make their way to all recent mid-range and flagship Galaxy devices, thanks to Samsung's excellent software update support. The next big update is One UI 5.1, which is expected to come out with the Galaxy S23 lineup at the beginning of February. I hope to see you again, guys, so subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and good luck!